Well guys, I just found a beautiful ring of bluets, forest bluets. You can see it starts kind of in this spot here. It actually goes down around this tree. So it kind of starts down below there. And then just kind of makes a ring. this way and up this hill a little bit it's just on like an old um, logging road and then it kind of starts coming down the hill there's one where are they there's more down here this is further down here it's not a perfect ring or anything, but you can see kind of how they're coming down this hill here and then making their way along here. But these ones are probably going to be in really good condition. You can see the coloration, the purple. It's beautiful. This is quite a significant amount of bluets to find. This is the most well, I have found some in BC, but this is a nice size, and I know that they're not going to be bug eaten, probably because of the cold temps, cold temperatures that have been here. So they're actually, you can see the ice crystals on top of them, which they're common to uh, pop up at this time of year when you've got your first frost. But yeah, these are beautiful. Look at that. Don't see any worm holes in them so I'm gonna collect quite a few and I'll have to figure out what the best way is for me to preserve them while I'm away here I'm not at home so hmm. maybe I'll just put them in the fridge for now yeah they're really they're really uh, one of my favorite mushrooms they're just they're beautiful and they have a very kind of unique flavor to them, so I quite like them. So it's, uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to find them. I would put them in the cate category of choice mushrooms in my opinion. But it, it, it is a good idea to uh, parboil them um, before eating them. It's actually one of the ways that I preserve them is just either parboiling them and freezing them, or as long as you cook them, you could just cook them in butter even. Um, you don't have to like necessarily boil them in water, but you definitely want to, I mean, make sure they're cooked well. Because they do make some people sick if you don't cook them enough, but I don't know, I've never had a problem, so. and I haven't boiled them. Um, I've just put them in a frying pan and fried them up before and I've had no issues myself. These younger bluets are really beautiful. And uh, the bluets do kind of get a bulbous base on them. You can see this one widens out at the bottom. So does this one. Not necessarily the way I identify them, but just thought I'd point that out. But yeah, it's a really nice harvest of mushrooms here. These are amazing. Probably the nicest ones I found in BC. Oh, this perfect little button.